Yo, what up, guys? This is your boy, son, TJ. How's it going? Back again with the same shirt, chain, without the hat. You know, made it look slightly different, even though it's the same day. Y'all should be seeing this video probably Monday, hopefully. I don't know, man. I have a lot of ideas that out of nowhere, I've took like, like a month hiatus, and now I'm back trying to get the videos flowing. And today, I'm here to talk about the top 10 best Dragon Ball attacks. Now, I've had this list ready for a long time now, to be honest. But funny enough, Team Four Star has started uploading their, their, their holiday special Dragon Ball list, and they're uploading theirs. I was like, "Hey, f it, might as well upload mine." And more videos that y'all should be seeing soon is like you know, top strongest um, Star Wars characters. Hopefully, I can get that out pretty soon. Um, top ten best uh, movies of 2019 and top five best video games of 2019 and i think that one is going to be a little bit iffy because i haven't played that many games at all but anyway metro play that intro the beat go off feel like i'm goku Okay, for the honorable mentions, we have Ultra Instinct. Um, Ultra Instinct would be high on this list if it wasn't so new, it didn't have that much nostalgia factor for me personally, and Dragon Ball Heroes has been kind of ruining it for me as well, so right now it's in the honorable mentions. Um, Wolf Fang Fist, uh, I'm really liking the video games. It's really not that impactful after Dragon Ball, and really not even that impactful after the first time showing it. The best showing it looked was in uh, Path of Power, but other than that, not that much higher. Uh, Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack, super, super long ass name, really cool attack, but you know, not high enough for me, and Big Bang Attack, Big Bang Attack, you know, it's cool for what it did, but it's just, bro, it's just, it's just an energy ball, that's what you want me to say, um, okay, so let's get down to the list. Okay, number 10 is Destructo Disc, or Kienzan, if you want to be, you know, a purist or whatnot, but yeah. I really like this technique, even though everyone steals it, like, <laughs> everyone steals it, um, I like it, you know what I mean? It just, the thing is, it's always used dumb, or it never really accomplishes anything, but it's an it's a, it's a, um, epic move. It just becomes useless when you're, like, when you're so much stronger than your opponent, or when your opponent's so much stronger than you, like, Cell or somebody like that. But, I love the technique, it can kill a lot of people that's above you, so, yeah. Oh, wow, my body's just not enjoying me making videos right now. But yeah, the struggle with this, really enjoy it. It's, the, it's made by Krillin, and Krillin's one of my favorite characters, and it's a very unique move. Next up is the Neo Tri-Beam, or I forgot the Japanese name. Um, uh, I don't know. I remember, like, you know, Team 4 saying it. All, oh, yeah, Kikoho. There we go. So, yeah. Neo Drive Beam, bro. This this hand sign like this, son. Even though it gets a lot of like um, sororities mad, because I think this is like Delta sign or something. Regardless, I love this technique. Um, it pretty much puts TN still relevant. He last time he used this successfully was in the Resurrection F movie and Resurrection F Saga. And hey, man, it was at his best when he used it against Kid Goku and Semi Perfect Cell. Love this technique. Oh my gosh, I just love doing this all day, even though it makes like a square instead of a triangle. So Kikoho is a better name for it, but you know what? Neo Try Me! Next up is the special beam cannon or Makonko Sapo. Yeah, <laughs> bro, this technique is the coolest looking beam. In terms of like, bro, it's like a beam with like a swirling another beam around it. It's it's so cool, man. It's only used once in the Dragon Ball Z manga or Dragon Ball manga, you know, purist. But again, it kills Goku and Raditz. It multiplies Piccolo's like power by quadrillions. And in Dragon Ball Super, it gets a comeback when he tries to get Frost. Frost has to cheese the win. Then he uses it up to become like pretty much Super Saiyan Blue level in the Universal Survival Saga. It's an incredible technique that, you know, I wish it didn't have such a drawback, but that drawback really helps. And you can use it like, you know, just a quick charge up or it can just charge up for like half an episode and blast your crap away. If more characters had this technique, which in the Dragon Ball Super manga, I have a character named like, a, it's like an android hit looking dude. He's able to use it. It's a very powerful technique. Love every time I see it. Next up is the OP technique that put Dragon Ball Super on the map for me personally. Time skip. 
You know, the funny thing is, I've been playing a lot of like Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 since you know the new DLC came out, and honestly, I've been playing that many video games. And I just love this technique, bro. Oh my gosh, I charged up this battery and it's about to die. Hold up. Sorry about that. I have an extra battery on my camera recorder that said literally it was 60 minutes, and when I was recording, it bumped down to like two minutes. It's only been five minutes of recording. So, more than a new battery. Anyway, so I was talking about his time skip. Now, Drop Monster was struggling for a while to like actually catch my attention until he got introduced and the Super Saiyan Blue Kyle King thing happened. And bro, his time skip is amazing. I always want like a hacks character like this, some like JoJo type crap in Dragon Ball. And again, they had it with like Guldol, but like bro, like he got like one shot as soon as like his his ability is more broken, but time skip is more fun, is more more free, has limitations that kept getting broken later on. Love me some time skip, yeah. Next up is the final flash. This technique is one of my favorite Vegeta techniques, period. Um, the Gallic Gun is just a copy of the Command Mei Wave. Um, final flash is Vegeta's staple. It is always shown to be stronger than like, you know, it's like, it's like also like Vegeta's version of like a Kamehameha plus a Kaioken on top. Final Flash is always, if you let Vegeta like power it up, he can like overtake you. This happened with like Jiren, not really, but it still happened with Jiren. Um, having a super perfect cell. It's a very powerful technique that I love to keep bringing back as Vegeta's stable technique. Um, it's like one of the few techniques like shown in canon that they show a beam coming out the planet. <laughs> Even though some down players say this is the only planetary technique. Nah, it, it's very powerful and I love it. Final Flash, that's my boy right there. Next up is Instant Transmission. One of my favorite techniques that's honestly not used enough because it's so broken. Granted, it's not broken as like though the Supreme Kai's version or the God's version of the Instant Transmission, but I love it, man. Like, especially when it's combined with different techniques. It was it was used in like the uh, Hachiak OVA video game where like Goku uses like a warp spirit bomb. Then you have like the warp command Mayaway where you used against Perfect Cell. Um, I just love this technique, man. It's always fun to see. I'm glad that Goku is using it more often. I, me I remember he got the, the, the upper, the, 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 I can't talk. He got the advantage on top of Beerus when he was fighting when he used his transmission. The only time his transmission was used dumb was Goku was fighting Super 17 and apparently Super 17 could predict it or whatever. Screw all that. His transmission is one of the most broken techniques in Dragon Ball. I love seeing it every time because, bro, one of the superpowers I would like to have if I actually had powers was to teleport. Shout out to Jumper, baby. Now it's time for the original Hokai Stardust Breaker. Bro, I love this technique because before Drum Ball Super Broly came out and when GT happened, you know, they introduced the Big Bang Kamehameha, this was Gogeta's, like, you know, finishing technique. And it was like the most badass move in like the, the Drum Ball moves, except one. And it was incredible, man. Like, the way that Gogeta took out Janemba was literally Hakai. Like, bro, this man wiped him out of existence. Granted, it, like, removed, like, the evil in him or whatnot. But pretty much, bro, it was, like, the original Hakai. It's so cool. It's, like, this, like, rainbow technique that he just, like, takes in, crushes it, and freaking blows you up. Granted, it shows up again in Dragon Ball Super Broly. But, again, it's not the same as it first showed up in Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn. Love it. It's one of my favorite like finale techniques and I gotta always remember it as being one of those. Next up is Spirit Ball. I love it. I love it. And also I'm gonna keep doing the techniques. You haven't noticed, so I'm gonna keep doing them every time. Spirit Bomb was like the original, like most powerful technique that Goku ever has ever done. It's one of the most iconic techniques too. Granted, it's only worked twice in canon. Um, it worked once against, actually, yeah, it actually only works uh, twice. It worked once against Kid Buu, and it worked again against Omega Shinron. <laughs> it failed against Vegeta, uh, it failed against Frieza, and it failed against Jiren. <laughs> it's failed a lot, to be fair. Well, actually, it also worked again when um, Goku used the, used the Spear Bomb Absorption against Android 13, and when Trunks used the Spear Bomb Absorption against Fusion's, uh, Fusion's Amasa. So it was 100% uh, percentage rate when you absorb it, but... Yeah, I love air variation of Spirit Bomb when it's like a small little energy thing. Also, it worked against Turtles. Okay, it's worked a lot in different formats, but in the, mostly in the canon, it's kind of failed a lot too. But again, everyone loves Give Me Your Energy. It's one of like best, like, you know, like 
techniques because it's not all Goku. It's not all the user. It's like everyone like uh, like teaming up to help them. It's only like in Dragon Ball Super and, and like you know when you start absorbing the technique that you can like uh, like stack your own power on top of it. But regardless, Spear Mom is one of the most beautiful techniques in Dragon Ball. Um, I love seeing it in video games, but granted, it's usually useless in video games unless it's like in a cutscene. But again. I love me some Spirit Bomb action, um, not to be confused with the Spirit Ball, which is also pretty cool, should have been the honorable mentions, but Spirit Bomb is one of the most iconic techniques and it has to be on this list. Number two, Kaioken, or it used to be called Kaioken. Man, that was some dark days, man. I actually was one of the kids saying Kaioken. But no, Kaioken is one of my favorite techniques of all time, man. I just, I just love it, bro. I go to the weight room a lot, okay? You can't really see it because I got this, like, shirt or whatnot. But, bro, when you're in the struggle, when you need that extra grit, you say Kaioken. And I'll be dumb enough to say, Kaioken times 20! It's, it's the most nerdy dose of ever. You would, you would think I'm still a virgin. And I just love saying Kaioken, man. Red, red is my favorite color. Every time Goku's used this technique, he looks badass. And I love that they brought it back in Dragon Ball Super Bros. That's why I love Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Kid so much. Because it's a combination of everything, baby. Godly aura, which, is, which actually Kyle Kid is a technique taught from a god, which is um, Grand Kai. Not Grand Kai, what the hell? Um, Supreme Kai or Great Kai? Oh my gosh, I forgot. Oh, King Kai. <laughs> wow, call me a Dragon Ball fan. Anyway, yeah, King uh, King Kai created the Kaioken, which he is a god, uh, which he is a god, and like you know, stacked on top of like Super Saiyan Blue. I would love to see Kaioken Super Saiyan God, even though I look weird because Super Saiyan God is just red anyway. But regardless, Kaioken is one of my favorite techniques of all time. I love using it in like any video game, especially in Xenoverse. I even stack Super Saiyan Blue Evolution on top of Kaioken. I love it. I can't wait to see Ultra Instinct Kyle Kid, but Kyle Kid is one of the most broken techniques, and I just think about it all the time because it's so cool, and I love it, and it's dangerous, and it just is so awesome. Number one, Dragon Fist, baby. Dragon Fist Explosion. Ever since it popped out on the scene on Dragon Ball Z, Wrath of the Dragon, and when Goku said, who well, if I won't, who will? Pretty much breaking the fourth wall. Then it shows up in Dragon Ball GT. And with Super Saiyan Force, it's a cool design. And it just shows up and it steals the show every single time, man. Love me some Dragon Fist. Dragon, uh, Dragon's my favorite creature. I low-key want to get a dragon tattoo on my back. But um, my pops won't let me. <laughs> and I respect my pops' opinion too much. But maybe one day when I become rich and famous. Please. Um, you know, I'll do it when I'm established, but bro, Dragon, bro, just the, the effect of being able to summon Shinrod from your fist in this, this key, bro, I love it. Dragon Fist is like my favorite technique that's not canon in the entire show. But I have one more ranking. And for, of course, the, the, the most iconic, like, technique in Dragon Ball, the Command Mail Wave. Um, the Command Mail is my favorite technique. I do this. On the regular, actually, I came in here like when I was in the mall. I had my like, my Goku hat. If you see my previous videos, and I had the shirt, or whatever. And little kids did this to me. He's like, yeah, I was like, yes, yeah, sir, bro. The Command Man is my favorite. Um, the Ten Times Coming Hall, the Final Coming Hall, like, bro, this right here is my favorite. I was gonna put them in the list, but I felt like it was kind of unfair because I was just just stacking Command Man waves in there. But yeah, the Command Man wave is my favorite technique in Dragon Ball, my favorite attack in Dragon Ball. So yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, about this list. What is your top ten? Sorry for like the confusion in between there, bro. People are unreliable, man. Technology unreliable. These women ain't reliable. Anyway, a lot of things are not reliable, so I try my best with everything. Um, hopefully more videos are going to be like coming out this week and then I can take a break. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Please support the channel. Sun to job. Peace. Love you all.